Welcome to the Allegheny County Library Systems webpage. This tutorial is on creating a list. You can now save your selected items to a list and even print it out. On the Titles search page, we have typed in uh, science projects for our search and we've clicked the search button or the enter key on the keyboard and looking down at our list of results we're going to look for a small symbol with a plus on it plus symbol this will save our item to a list and uh, this symbol is also found in other areas, if we drill down into the title itself and go to the detail page, this is found underneath of the jacket and you would click that and you save it to a list. If you are not logged in, you would be prompted to save that. Um, you'd have to log in by typing in your 14-digit library card number and your four-digit PIN number first before you could create your list. As you can see, I've clicked the plus symbol, add white on an item to, um, and you could create a new list and give it a title. And I'm just going to type in science project books and I'm going to click the plus symbol I'm going to go back to the list of results and I'm going to scroll down to I find several other items and if I like to select all the items on this particular page I could click in this small box which notice there's a check mark then on each of the items each of the results and then in this area I could save all of the selected items to that same list and as you can see the little dialog box has appeared add 10 items to and I could create a new list However, I'm going to choose the science project books and it has placed it in that list. Um, to find that particular list then, you look towards the bottom of your web page and you can see the green bar at the bottom that contains my list, my saved searches, and my account. And you click on the My List link or it's also known as a drawer and you would see I've already um, logged into this patron's account but the science project books and there are 10 of them are located here and I'm going to click on that and you can see that the items are added to this list um, you can also click the details button to find more information about that book again or you could click in um, one of the particular boxes perhaps you didn't need and you could click remove selected item and you're going to be questioned are you sure you want to remove the item I'm going to click remove and confirmation items have been removed from the list. Um, you can also check in a box and click on request selected to place a request or a hold on that particular book. By clicking in the top box, you notice that it places a check mark in each of the items and then you could if you would want to click on print list and choose to print out your list 
You also have a remove list if you no longer need that list.